just uh, you know how tough that is with the way you carried over time to lose like that. I mean, uh, it's a good game. Both both teams are uh, playing hard, and um, in terms of how tough it is, I think I said it before. It's tough for about ten minutes, and then uh, it's the playoffs. So you turn the page, and um, we know there was a lot of good things tonight to build off of. So. Uh, we're excited. Uh, only you know, been in this situation before against Pitt, so uh, we're just going to grind. Go ahead, Anthony. All right, just to, to how close these teams are and how tough these games are right now and how tight they are. Oh, they're really tight. Uh, two, of the, two of the top uh, teams in the league just just playing hard. Um, you know, a lot of power plays tonight. It was an exciting game. Uh, our, our group battled hard, and, and so did they. Uh, it's, it's been like that last last three games, so um, don't think it's going to change. Uh, just, again, it's just two two good teams going at it. It's a matter of inches. Every game's so close. Tom Galitti, NHL.com. Ryan uh, Barley played really well there. You know, got you to the end there. Some might focus on the on the goal, but just what what, what did he do for your team tonight in this game and, and the way the game was played? Yeah, he's been he's been outstanding for us um, all year, uh, and uh, you know he made huge saves for us tonight, he kept us in the game, and uh, you know that that's what we need out of him. Easy for you guys to shake this off, for him to shake this off. You think? I think so. I mean, obviously it's tough right now, but you know we're in a series here. Um, you know we have a big game on Saturday that uh, you know we're going to regroup here and uh, you know get ready for that. Andrew Gross, Newsday. Hey, uh, uh, Matt, obviously, uh, you know, uh, it, it seemed like a, a second really, you know, really good active game for you in the offensive zone there. Um, you just, uh, wh what were you saying when you stuffed that puck in on, on your second try there? And then also, did, did you think you had it in overtime on, on that rebound chance? Uh, what was I saying or seeing? Seeing, uh, seeing, seeing. I'm... Um... Uh, just yelling, just happy to score. Uh, in terms of the one in overtime, yeah, Puka made a great save. Uh, usually in those situations, um, I thought I was in tight and just wanted to sneak one five hole. But uh, you know, he was there. He was he was big all night for them, uh, as was Varley. So it's unfortunate. Bruce Beck, NBC. Hey, you guys, you've been here many times before, where you're you're playing catch up in a series. I just wanted to know if the experience is something that you can lean upon here as you go forward. I think so. Yeah. Um, you know, we, we have a mature group. Um, you know, we know throughout the series, throughout the playoffs, you know, there's adversity and you're going to be in tight spots. And, you know, in the past, we've found ways to dig ourselves out. And, you know, all, obviously our main focus right now is Saturday night and, you know, find a way to get a win and get back even in the series. Jerry Beach, AP. Hey guys, did this uh, did this feel like Game Five against Pittsburgh, particularly with the late equalizer after they'd had they controlled play for a bit? And did you think you had the momentum going into overtime? I thought uh, I thought both teams had really good looks all game. Um, I don't, you know, I thought actually for the most part, uh, you know, we had some really good stretches that we pushed the pace and crowd was behind us and we got buzzing. Um, but again, both teams are both teams are good. Both teams had had stretches where. They controlled the play, and um, again, that's how it's been all series. Just try to turn that turn that momentum as quick as you can. 